frequency distributions help reveal the pattern from sales numbers. We can clearly see that as sales go up, the frequency goes up. Now that's an unusual pattern in sales, but bam, the, the frequency distribution reveal that pattern. Now watch this, because we're doing this not with a pivot table, but with a formula. I'm gonna change the bin or the increment from 1,000 to 500, and bam, a pivot table can't do that, but the group by function can. Now I already have the start upper limit. I'm gonna have the increment be exactly the same. We could have a different number there. And I need to look through here and find the max. So I'll simply use max. Hey, what's the biggest one? Well, that's a messy number. So we're gonna round it up using ceiling math. This just allows us to round comma to some significance. Always round up to the nearest 1000. And so we're gonna go from 1,000 start to end 7,000. Now off to the side, I wanna show you how to create the bins for the upper limits, even though we don't need this in our formula. How many bins? I'm just gonna say that end amount divided by the increment. That gives us seven, but we need 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and so on. We put it inside of sequence. That's how many rows, comma, comma, start, increment control enter and those are the bins that will be created automatically by the group by function here's the formula and we're going to use let because we have a repeating variable we somehow need to convert this to all upper limits well we're going to use ceiling math for a second time hey there's the whole sales column comma significance there's a thousand close and i want to test to see what that c is delivering and sure enough now we have a column that's the same size over here that we can use inside of group by it's definitely going to be the row fields that's where it gets a unique list comma and the values to count where we're counting c the function is count and we don't have headers so i'm going to put zero no close and when we control enter that is a thing of beauty. If I change the start to 500, bam, a pivot table can't do that, but the group by function can. And of course, the pivot by function can do this also. You just have to leave column fields empty. Also, I changed the label here because for this particular calculation, the upper limit is included. So this category right here is greater than the lower limit 3,500 and less than or equal to the upper 4,000. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.